Hello folks, how are you today? I have another review video for you folks and I kind of think this might be a must for some of you folks especially with the way the environment is going and the storms we've been having and just generally the way things are happening uh, with power outages. Uh, let's get right to it. I was sent this to do a review on a while back and I've been using it for a while and I really really like it. It is the EBL Dynamo and Solar Powered Radio. Now, uh, you probably see me scrambling once in a while. When I do my videos, I, I say I have to go shut the radio off. Well, this is the little radio you hear me listening to. Uh, it's a quite a neat little radio, I think. It comes with, it's got a light, the light in the front of it, which is pretty cool. It does have a crank on the bottom to charge it if you want to. So that's one form of charging. When you're spinning it, you see that little red light coming on in here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there is a red light on when you crank it. Plus when you set it in the window, I will take this film off now. I put it back on for the video, but usually I leave that off and it sits near a window and it charges and it works just fine that way. Uh, plus it takes <clears throat> batteries as well if you so desire. It takes three, I believe they're triple A batteries in the bottom. Mostly what I use is the onboard battery that is in here. Uh, the functions, now this little switch here, you can move this over to power and that will run off the onboard battery that you use or it'll run off the solar or when you crank it, it'll send power to the onboard battery and the solar also. Uh, it's got a little switch here for FM, AM, volume, your channel selection. So when you go to FM, of course, just like most radios, the outer numbers are AM. Flip it to FM, the inner numbers are for FM. Uh, it is the RD332, 332 model. Uh, now most of these have a built-in antenna, as you probably already know. It's got an external one. I use the external one most of the time. See if we can get anything on here now. You folks know we're pretty far out of town, right? So. We're pretty far out of town, but it has pretty darn good reception. I'm quite impressed. We usually set that. You just get the antenna set right, you don't have to touch it. it works pretty decent, I think. I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, <coughs> excuse me, folks. It comes with this little charge cord. And now the end here is the same thing as most of your tablets or most of your uh, phones that you buy. I believe it's the same charger. So with this charge cord, you can charge it this way too, by the way. You can charge it by the crank, the, the dynamo crank. You can charge it by the solar panel, or you can charge it through your USB. So basically, you put the small end of the USB right in the side of the radio here. You plug that into your laptop, plug it into any, I believe it's a 5-volt USB. Yes, a DC and 5-volt. Or, if you want to change, charge your tablet or your radio, you just switch this right around like this. And then this plugs into your tablet, your phone or whatever else you have. It's also got a, f a headphone jack here, so most of your head jacks, your, your headphone jacks will plug right in here. I have my laptop on this right now, sorry. Anyways, that will plug right into there and... It's working. Or if I unplug it. So, can't say enough about it. Comes with a little lanyard too. It's already in the it's already in the uh, uh, box and hooked up. It comes with instruction manuals. The little antenna folds up and it clips right down in here, so you can take it wherever you want. If you're female, you can put it in your purse. If you're a man, you can put it in your jacket pocket, coveralls, wherever you carry your stuff, hang it off your belt, whatever. Uh, if Heather and I are in our wood lot for a long time, usually I will take that in and set it on a stump and turn it on if we're going to be in there for a while and I can listen to music in there. 
We can hear the weather. We can hear if anything major is going to happen because we do get uh, warning alerts now, emergency alerts through our radio station now. So it's nice to be in touch with things even when we go for a ride in our woodlot. I will leave a link to the bottom of this, but but I really, really enjoy it. Like it says here, uh, AM, FM function, cell phone charge, solar power, crank power, LED flashlight, USB jack, built-in speaker, and headphone jack. That is the EBL AM, FM radio, uh, dynamo and solar powered radio with flashlight. Neat little unit, I really like it. It's not very heavy either, and it's very easy to figure out. And like I say, if something ever happens, you got a radio with you. If the power ever goes out, if you're ever in an emergency, weather emergency, I don't know about you folks, but if you have this on, we usually like having a little radio on when we're doing our work around here. And it's just so small. It's not like having it's not like having a large clunky radio around that needs batteries all the time. This thing, put it away if you ever need it. You can either charge it or crank it. If the power goes out, you crank it. And uh, you have a flashlight as well. So uh, anyways, that is my little review on this flashlight. I really like it. I've used it lots. I, when I get something, I usually do, I usually use it for a while before I do a review on it just to make sure that it's going to stand up for most of you folks. So I know a lot of you folks, <clears throat> excuse me, I am sure a lot of you folks trust what I have to say and I'm not going to feed you a line of garbage. This is a nice little radio. It is very simple and for most of you folks probably had a transistor radio when you are younger but this is going to outdo most of your transistor radios you had when you were younger. It is just a nice simple little radio light charged with a solar. Charges with a dynamo crank. Charges with this cord you get with it. Or you can use this to charge your other stuff. It's got a headphone if you don't want to bother anybody. FM AM selection. You can listen to it on the power. Or you can listen to it with your batteries that you installed in the back. Like I say, I don't have any batteries in there because it doesn't really need it. I don't use it. Maybe someday I'll put some in there. But if I do, they'll be rechargeable. Anyways, that is my review, folks, on this little... EBL radio. I will leave a link in the description below. If you want to get one, I would advise you strongly to pick one up. They're not that much money to have around and if you ever need a radio, if your power goes out, you have one. Anyways, that's it for now folks. Please leave a comment in the bottom and leave a like and uh, check out these. I think they're pretty cool. You hey, folks take care and we'll talk to you later. Bye bye.